Well, here's an interesting tree that really shouldn't be here in Albuquerque, but you know this one very well, don't you, Rick? Oh, yes, I do. I haven't seen too many of those around here. Welcome back to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm Curtis Smith. I'm here with Bernalillo County Horticulture agent Rick Daniel, who recently took the job here after being the horticulture or the extension agent in Alamogordo, where a lot of pistachios are grown. So it's kind of surprising to find these That's here. That's right. It's very surprising. In fact, these are the first two pistachio trees that I've seen since, since I've been here. Uh, in, in southern New Mexico, down around Alamogordo, we saw quite a few of them because the climate uh, lended itself real well to them. Here, I'm a little bit surprised to see these trees, but uh, I, you know, it is, it is nice to see that somebody is able to grow them here. Looking good, surviving well. However, we really can't recommend that people grow these here because right. we know that there's probably going to be a winter that kills them. And in this location, this is in a protected backyard next to a wall that faces south where it's warm. It doesn't have a large area, so the wind can't get in here as badly as in other places. So it's very protective. So this is a microclimate that allows this, and we haven't really had a bad winter here in Albuquerque for several years. And so these That's have had a good shot. I hope they will survive a bad winter, and we can move the production further north, at least in backyards. Right. And, and I think that that is a very important point. It is quite a challenge to grow plants like this, it, and it's probably quite, uh, uh, quite a, a neat thing or a good feeling for a gardener that's able to do something like this. It's not something that, that you just go out and plant <laughs> it and expect it to, to do well, though, without a little bit of help or a little bit of planning, though, beforehand. But this is good evidence that you should try things that even we tell you won't grow here. Try them, find out, teach us what really works. We like it when we find out that there's something that's going to work that we didn't know about. We like to try these. We like to right. utilize our microclimates. And so this is one example that we can do such a thing. And right over here is another one that's not quite as difficult to grow here, but it's difficult to get a crop. And this is an almond tree growing right. right here. Even in southern New Mexico, we occasionally had problems with the almonds freezing out. Uh, they weren't grown commercially there uh, because of the weather conditions and everything. So I'm kind of surprised that they're having such success with the, the almonds here in Albuquerque. Here in Albuquerque, we'll have pretty good crops fairly often. The problem with this, though, is the fact that it blooms too early and our late freezes get us. Right. So even in a microclimate where it's protected, it may be more dangerous for the almond because it tends to grow too early. This is one where you want to put it so it's shaded in the microclimate so it stays cool longer. Then maybe you'll miss that late freeze. This year's been a good year, and there's a real heavy crop on this almond tree. I'm going to have to come visit here about the time they get ripe. Right. <laughs> this, is, this is quite a quite a feat for a gardener to be able to do something like this and uh, I, I I think that takes a lot of planning just like with the pistachios or anything else and uh, you know it's, it's something fun to do but it's not not one of those recommended things again like you well, like you is, said earlier but it is a sign of a good gardener one willing to take challenges right and willing to lose every once in a while to grow these things which are difficult to grow but which are worth having when they right. do succeed and so again, it's good to challenge and try. You may succeed four years and fail the fifth year and succeed again the sixth year. You may succeed one year out of four or one year right. out of five. But it's still fun those years you succeed. That's one of the nice things about the home gardener. They have the opportunity, since they're not doing this for a living, they can just do it for the pure enjoyment of, of gardening. That's true. Of course, they create challenges for you when they ask you questions as right. the horticulture agent. This shows the use of the microclimates very well. He's growing everything from almonds to pistachios, the female tree and the male tree. We've got the flowers here. The irises are growing here. Lettuce is here. He's got vegetables off over here. He's growing a lot of things in a small space and using the variations in the climate back here to maximum benefit. It's very, very neat to see that, you know, he's utilizing the, the shade off of the trees to help grow some of those plants that need that cooler weather and whatnot. And uh, it's, it's very, very interesting and very, very well planned. 